this video is about recording videos with your phone. So um, I have a little kit here that I'm gonna use to demonstrate. And then uh, I have some of the equipment I suggest that you have here. You have something that's tall, like maybe a box like this thing here. And you have something that's heavy, like I have a little stone here. You of course have your phone and you have your, your project that you want to demonstrate. So um, there's two different things that you might want to do. You might want to just film what your project is about or you might film yourself doing stuff. And of course then um, there is also the last one where you have your camera in your hand and show it around. Now, one of the reasons why I'm showing some of these things here is because um, the more stable the picture is, the more still the picture is, the easier it is for people to watch this thing here. So I'm actually trying always to try to figure out a scenario where the picture is stable. Uh, so that means it's not handheld. So a couple of things. First of all, um, what I will suggest here is that you make sure you don't get disturbed while you're recording that. So the best way to do that is go in to whatever kind of phone you have. You have some kind of airplane mode and just put in airplane mode. Then you don't get like email beeps or what apps or, you know, Skype calls or anything because it's actually not connected to anything. So that's the first thing. Uh, the other thing is that when you record a video, always record in landscape. You know, sometimes you will run around and hold it like that, but I want you to hold it like this when you record a video. So make sure that when you show whatever video that it's in this landscape mode. Obviously, whoever edits it can rotate the video, but if you are facing yourself and it's like in, in, uh, in portrait mode, then it's a little difficult to tilt it around to 90 degrees. So make sure when you record everything, it's like that. Okay. So I have a camera button here. You probably have it somewhere else. And uh, you can see here, if I put it up here, then I have a certain distance to uh, my project. Now, if I press the video here, then it get a little bit closer. So um, before you kind of like configure how you want this um, this project to go, then uh, make sure that you are setting in the right way. So I'm kind of like say, okay, this is uh, where we have to have it. And then I'm gonna press record here. And the reason for that is that after I press record, I'm gonna put a rock here on top of it. Hopefully it doesn't move. Okay. Now to give myself a little bit more space, Maybe I rotate it to this side here. It also gives a little bit more light. And before you put all this thing here up, just try to see if it is like that. And when it's still, you can start your video. So let me demonstrate my video here. And um, in this case, I have like an, a little app. And what I want to do is I want to um, um, get it into uh, the right mode. So here is in gesture mode. So now I can move it like that. And then I want to measure locks here. Okay. So now it's measuring the locks. And I have a little light source here. So I can demonstrate how the light changes. And you just have to keep looking at the screen and figure out if you can see it. And of course, if you can have the project lying still like that, much better. Okay, I switch it off and now it shows, well it doesn't show anything now because uh, my little project here uh, is um, changing its operation after 10 seconds. But you get the idea. So that is one video mode. Okay, now you can make these videos individually. You don't have to do them in one. So when I'm finished here, I press this, I uh, stop. Now the second <coughs> consideration I want you to have is that if I now it's recording sorry so I stop that 
that video I'm not going to use. He said, I'm not changing so it faces me. So you probably also have a camera like that. And again, I now put it up against the box here. And by putting it up against the box, it's uh, now stable. So I can also record in this fashion. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that. But I have, using the front camera, the camera on the same side as, uh, as the screen on my phone here. So I can actually see what happens and it's easier for me to to frame it when uh, I'm in the picture here. So similar thing, I can uh, demonstrate how my little project works. In this case here, maybe I just want to demonstrate how I plug it in and it powers up and it shows like some computer screen. And again, you have your arms and hands free. It's in landscape, it's in airplane mode so you don't get disturbed. And it's sitting up against something so it doesn't move around, okay? So I'm gonna, I didn't record this thing here, so it was just like uh, demonstrated uh, here. Now, <coughs> the last uh, uh, method you probably have is that if you have to actually uh, go around with this thing here, then you know, you might actually wanna handheld it, okay? And in the case you have to handheld it, try to exercise your handhelding skills a little bit. And what you wanna do first is that you wanna kind of like make sure where you shoot it. Now, you know, make sure the background is not too crazy, okay? Because uh, then people are not focusing on your projects. They're focusing on, even though that sharp in the background is uh, blurry, they're gonna like wanna look at what you have in the background. So I have kind of like made sure that before I shot, I have a big clean empty desk here. So there's nothing and there's okay lights and light is the most important thing okay so you can actually not add too much light the only problem there is with too much light is that it can be a little bit difficult to see the screen here because what the camera is doing in your phone is that they're adjusting to the light and the more light there is the faster it flickers it's only if you have the audio one you have to be con uh, concerned about that if i turn that light on you can see that the screen flickers even less. And that's simply not the audio one that flickers less, it's your camera that flickers more or less depending on how much light there is. So for the purpose of showing audio one, less light is better, especially if you have a phone that's good at, you know, um, with a lot of lights. But otherwise, if it wasn't for the audio one, more light is better, a lot more light is better. So yes, that's the um, so so that's the way, and and uh, I'm doing this in here handheld. Now um, I just want to show you. I want to actually just uh, take this camera here away, and I uh, just want to show you a couple of other options. Now the other options I'm going to show you is. Uh, not necessary uh, stuff that you have, but if you like this thing here, and then later on in life, decide that you wanna shoot much more videos, then there's a number of different options. There's a, first of all, this selfie claim here. Uh, you can get them in a lot of these small gadget shops, and it have like a normal, um, uh, what's called um, a quarter inch uh, screw hole. Um, and that's what all the camera gear is normally using. So um, if you find like a tripod, a small tripod, or, um, so, or like a cro croc crocodile, no, not crocodile, what is it called? Gorilla pot. So let me show you a couple. So I have this little bag I travel around with. So just so you can see how big the bag is, here is a Coke Zero in comparison. So in here I have all my different gear that I normally travel around with. So I have one of these, like similar to this one here. And then I have this, what's called a Gorilla Pot. So the whole idea is with the Gorilla Pot is that it has the, the same kind of like a, a screw here, because they all have this standard size. And then when you have it like that, you can then use it as a tripod as I'm using it here. And you can 
hold it like in various way. But the nice thing about it also is that if you have like a pearl, so now I'm just using this one leg here as a pearl, you can wrap this pot around the pearl here, if that is uh, visible at all here on the screen, okay? So that means that if you have something, a, a structure already like a fence or something like that, you can use these legs here to wrap around. So that's called a gorilla pot. They're like dirt cheap and you get them in a gadget store also. So that's the one thing I travel around with. And interesting enough, I never use it, but it's light and I have it. What I actually use quite a lot is this tripod here. And the reason for it is that it has very, very, very long leg, okay? Now, that's gonna be a little difficult to show you here. So I can just keep on pulling this out here. And um, it starts here and goes all the way down here. And it actually is like nearly, I think one meter 20, one meter and a half uh, tall. So it's, and it's very little and very light. So I can travel around that and of course it have the same screw here so I can put the same f fitting on here. So that I have in my computer bag um, and I'm using that when I'm um, going around and shooting video of the one and other sort and making sure that way that it's stable. Now I um, have another thing here that's interesting. That's a little thing that can be moved around, but it have a clam here and they're rubberized. And that, you know, it looks like one of those you have for, for your, um, your lamps that you can mount to your, uh, your desk, okay? But you can see it have a slight curve here. That means you can, you know, mount it on a, on a round object like a pole. And also they're very rubberized, these two, so you can actually put it on a window on your, you know, slightly rolled down car window, and then you can actually mount it and and uh, have it like that. I like this thing here more than, for example, a suction cup, because a suction cup you can actually only use on the windows, but this thing here you can use on a slightly open window, you can use it on a something flat and something round to, to mount it on, and it's very, very sturdy. And it has like, you know, once you kind of like put it into a lock, because there's small, uh, Groot, uh, grooves in here, it kind of like locks it in whatever position I have, so it doesn't, it's good for a heavy camera. <coughs> I use that somewhat more than the Gorilla Pod, but, I, but this one I don't travel with. So uh, another thing I do travel with is uh, this one here. So it have like, a, um, it's, it's a GoPro, um, and it has this clam here, so I can very quickly fix it. It's a very sturdy clam. It have like similar gorilla pot arm here. And then up here, it have like a holder for my phone. And uh, the only difference between this one and this one here is that this one have the GoPro fitting. So therefore I can actually just click it in. Um, I have a GoPro I never use. I use this thing here and I use my phone because the phone I always have with me. Uh, to record with. And then <coughs> the last thing I want to show, if you want to go bananas, this is uh, one of these things here. So this is a, a GTI uh, and this is a gimbal. And what it does <coughs> is that it uh, it have like a couple of motors inside and it have a SI01 or a similar IMU in. And what it makes sure of is that as you move around your camera, then this thing here moves against your movement in a sense that it makes sure that the picture is stable. So you can run with this thing here and it looks like that the camera is actually mounted on a, on a track, um, you know, with rolling wheels. So, so this, is, this is great, but of course, uh, somewhat more expensive and have recharging battery and, uh, <coughs> and what you do is that you, um, you use typically an app that comes with this thing here to record the video. Um, <coughs> And you have, uh, this is a joystick that sits here that allows you to, to kind of like move, uh, move it around because you can't just move your hand because it moves against you. So if you want to uh, move to another position, you actually use the joystick here and it moves it like that. So that is it um, 
when you're done the video, I want you to use WeTransfer to upload the video and send it. I'm gonna just send a link in the description of this uh, video here so you can see uh, where to go with the video. So figure out how you get the video from your phone or WeTransfer from your phone maybe. Um, somehow get it to your laptop and, and figure out. You have a lot of different equipment if you have a problem we transferring the video then uh, um, let me know and we can see we can sort it out on an individual basis thank you for listening